I really don't want to say what I'm about to say because I've started the past few videos with this same line, but I am really excited for today's video. I just love anything to do with customization and personalization. Like I was that kid in middle school and high school who would fully decorate their lockers and fully deck out their planners and binders and notebooks. Hashtag embrace the present. To me, this is kind of like the digital equivalent to that. I literally haven't done anything to it. I was saving it for this video because I did upgrade to the 2021 MacBook Pro. I did a whole unboxing video, which I will link below for you guys who haven't seen it yet. So this is what we're starting with. We have a lot of work to do. Well, actually the only thing I've done so far are download some apps. So all my Adobe apps, Lightroom, Photoshop, Final Cut Pro, Google Chrome, and VLC. The first thing we're gonna do is change our wallpaper because I don't wanna say she's not the cutest. She's just not my vibe. You know, we want something a little more bright, a little more vibrant. So let's go to system preferences, then desktop and screensaver. Um, okay, so I am quite, I don't wanna say crazy. I'm quite particular when it comes to my wallpaper. Like in our last customization video, I literally Photoshopped my own wallpaper because there just wasn't any that I was a fan of. Although I didn't do that this time around. I did purchase a bunch of wallpapers. It's the first time I've ever spent money on a, on a digital image. And I don't know how I feel about that. But let me show you the wallpapers because they are kind of cute. So the wallpapers are still in my downloads folder, but here it is. This is what I bought. It's like this set of like aura lights wallpapers like, like the aura lights design i don't even know if that's the right term but this type of design is super in trend right now and i actually really like it which is why i obviously spent six dollars on this set of wallpapers so i really hope it looks good so that my six dollars don't go to waste anyways let's move them to the pictures folder so that they show up in system preferences and as you can see there is no pictures folder on the sidebar so what you want to do first is click finder on top and then tick the boxes of what you want to have quick access to in the sidebar. So pictures, music, movies. Okay, now we can go back to system preferences, go to folders and ta-da, here they are. Okay, so moment of truth, let's try them out. Okay, starting with this pink one. I'm gonna be honest, it kind of reminds me of like a certain body part. <laughs> I don't know why. I think it's just all the different shades of pink. I think it's safe to say that I'm not gonna use this one, so let's move on. Okay, this blue one, I don't know. It gives me like Windows vibes, you know? I, I don't love it. Okay, this yellow one, this is not looking good. <laughs> this yellow one, this one's actually not too bad, but it kind of gives me pimple vibes. Like it literally looks like a pimple on the skin. I'm coming to the realization that I may have just wasted $6. Okay, this green one, surprisingly, I don't hate it. Like I genuinely thought I was gonna hate the green one out of everything, but out of all the ones we've seen so far, this one's not looking too bad. Okay, this is the classic one. This is super cute. I actually really do like this. I think she's the best so far for sure. And then this dark one, uh, she's cute, but not, not my vibe. I definitely like the light purple the best. So I think we're gonna stick with this. Yeah, we're gonna stick with this for now, but I'm for sure gonna look for another one because I don't know, I just really wanna be like obsessed with my wallpaper, you know? Like I am crazy about wallpapers. Let's move on to screensavers because I bought a wallpaper and screensaver set, like pack. So I basically have all of the designs I showed you, but in screensaver form. This is the one that was trending on TikTok, by the way. It is for free, but just this color. If you want the other colors, you're gonna have to purchase it. Okay, Dusk is cute. I like it. I like it as a screensaver. I like that it's dark because, you know, you don't want a screensaver that's too bright, you know, because usually it's just in the background. So we'll stick to this and I'll just change it to five minutes. Now we're going to make our folders and I'm just going to make the same six folders that I had in my last MacBook because I really like the organization system that I had. So one for recent, which is basically like my dump folder. So if I screenshot anything or download anything, I just dump it all in that folder instead of having it scattered all over my desktop. Watch, which is where I put all my recently downloaded movies or TV shows. Then school for papers, readings, and books. 
books, Instagram for my photos, YouTube for all things YouTube, and editing for the footage that I am currently editing. And I will just move them all to the right because I like having all my folders on the right side of my desktop. And then one of my favorite things to do is change the icon of my folders. And I'm very extra when it comes to my folder icons, so much so that I actually make my own. But I'm gonna show you just a super quick demo of how I made them in case you also are crazy and you wanna make your own. So first I downloaded an icon online and it's better if it's already a PNG, just makes it all easier. Then I dragged that image to Photoshop, create a new fill layer and I want my icons to be white. So I make a white layer, click create clipping mask, save it as a PNG and that is it. Now to actually change the icon of the folders, just right click the folder, click get info, and then open the image, command A to select all, command C to copy, and then click this folder icon here, command V to paste, and voila, that's how you change it. It's super easy. Now I'm just gonna do it for all my other folders. OMG, I actually really like how this looks. It's my first time ever having white icons. Actually, I think in my last MacBook, it was also white, but but it wasn't circular. I actually super love how it's circular and white. I think it just looks super neat. I am obsessed with it. Okay, so now we're gonna customize this dock. So let's go to system preferences, dock and menu bar. I'm okay with the size and position on screen. TBH, people who don't have their docks at the bottom of their screen, scare me. Oh, we are going to tick magnification because I love when the apps do the wave when you hover over them. I don't know, I just really like it. I'll just decrease the magnification intensity a little bit. Now let us clean up this dock because there are way too many apps. So I'm just gonna start removing apps that I don't want on the dock. And we're just gonna speed through this because I don't think that you want to listen to me explain why I'm keeping or removing each app. Personally, I like keeping only my essential apps on the docks so apps that I use at least once a week. And I do this so that one, it doesn't look cluttered, and two, so that it's easier and quicker for me to find the apps that I actually do use. And the way that I arrange it is I keep my super most used apps, like apps that I use daily, on the middle right of my screen. Because I'm right-handed, so my hand just naturally gravitates towards the right area of the screen. There you go, look at that, it looks so much neater. Now, let's customize the widgets, and I'm so excited because this is the first time that I actually have widgets on my MacBook. So here are the widgets. Honestly, I have no idea what I want my widget section to look like, but for now, I'll just, you know, I'll play around with it and I might go back to this later. But this is what it looks like right now. You know, not super obsessed with it. We have the calendars, to-do lists, and then the weather. Raya from the future here, I do in fact go back to this whole widget section and fill it with even cuter widgets. I just had to do more research and more experimentations, but I'll show you guys later, so stay tuned for that. Let's go to general, because there's a bunch of stuff to customize here. I love doing this. Okay, so for appearance, we will put it at auto, which just allows it to automatically transition to night mode at nighttime, which I love. And then for accent color, pink, of course, it just changes the colors of the buttons. So cute. And then highlight color is also pink. Look at how cute when you highlight. Obsessed. Then I am pretty okay with everything else. Oh, let's go back to dock and menu bar because I forgot to do something. I wanna get rid of the recent applications on my dock, AKA this green app here. So we're just gonna go to dock and menu bar and untick show recent applications in Doc. Okay, then in this same section, we can scroll down to battery and I'm just gonna tick show percentage because I like seeing the specific percentage of how much battery I have left and then scroll down to clock and I will also tick display the time with seconds because I actually find that having the seconds on is like insanely helpful, especially if you're like me and you wait for launches, you know, like if a new makeup product is launching. Same goes with enlisting for classes. Oh my gosh, like you need the second so that you know exactly when to enter the website so you don't, you know, get left behind. We're gonna go back and then go to notifications and sound and I'm literally just gonna turn off 
all the notifications. I just really get annoyed when I get notifications on my MacBook. Like, I don't know what it is, except for Final Cut Pro and iMovie because they just notify you when your video has exported, which is really helpful. Okay, then go back and click battery. And just to save battery, we are going to decrease the turn display off after make that 15 minutes, then turn on low power mode. Oh, and I also wanna remove this recently downloaded section on my dock just to really clean the dock up. So we're just gonna right click options and click remove from dock. Hello, it is Raya from the semi future here. It's been, I'd say like an hour or two or three. So I took a few hours just to like experiment and download some things and we're back. And I'm actually super excited to show you what I've discovered so far. So I played around a lot with wallpapers, widgets, and just like extra desktop customizations. I'm so excited. First of all, the wallpaper, um, I, I hate that I'm saying this because I literally spent $6, $6 on wallpapers and um, I just don't love it, okay? So I went back to my old ways and I did indeed Photoshop several new wallpapers because I'm crazy like that, okay? <laughs> Here they are. It's basically the same wallpaper, just different color combinations. So we're just gonna try them all out. This first one, cute. I actually really love this, but I don't know. I feel like it's a little bit too pastel for me. This was my quirky side showing. I was like, I want, I want to make like a really quirky retro color combo. Ugh, I don't know. And then I did another one, which is very similar. I just took out the blue. We have this one, which I think is really cute, but it gives me like middle school vibes. I don't know why. This one, which I actually really like, it is a little like middle school pastel-y, but I still like it. And then we have this pink one, which I also super love. I think it's definitely a tie between this one and this pink one. We have this green one, which I also really like, but just my vibe right now is more pink. And then we have this brown one, which surprisingly, this is definitely like my bottom three. For now, I think we're gonna do this blue one, this pink and blue one. Now for extra depth, desktop customization, I downloaded this app called Flip Clock and it's super cool. You can do quite a bit with it. So let's just go to settings. Here, there are three designs. There's a flip clock, which is what I'm using right now. You can customize the text color and the background color. I just picked this one to match my desktop wallpaper. It can also be a digital clock. We also have the dial clock, which is also cute actually, but yeah. Super cute, I'm obsessed with it. Now for widgets, I downloaded two new apps for the widgets. Oh, I deleted everything else by the way and just left the calendar because I do want that there. But I downloaded color widgets. I'll just add this, I'll add another one. And then I downloaded smart tasks and I'll just do medium ones. I already fully experimented with this guy so I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm just like trying to walk you through it but I definitely already pre-planned this. <laughs> so I'm going to walk you through each of the apps. So for smart tasks, basically it's a to-do list, but it allows you to customize the color, which is why I really like it here. Here are all the colors you can do. And I picked this one because it matches my background almost perfectly. I'm very impressed. You can actually change what list you display. So here we have YouTube, which are for all my YouTube tasks. And then this bottom one, I'm gonna change it to be my school tasks. And the next app is color widgets. Look, you can customize it. It can be the time, it can be the calendar, it can be just a photo, it can be a clock. And you can customize the background color, the text color, the font. I'm gonna keep one as a calendar because I really like that. And then the other one, I'm going to make it a clock there and that is essentially it those are my widgets oh my gosh it literally looks so cute i love it i'm obsessed with how it looks so yeah that is it for today's video i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and were able to i don't know like get inspired to design and customize and personalize your own macbooks i am definitely tired it's been quite a long day but i definitely enjoyed this whole process and i hope you did too so yeah i'll see you in the next video bye girl